Well, it might be hard to believe, but a little under two months ago, this was just a blank space with a lawn and a path running down one side. But look at it now. It's a large flower-filled contemporary garden. Now, the brief from the client was to create a garden that they could relax, enjoy and entertain in. That's why we decided to put this contemporary pergola right in the centre of the garden. We wanted the pergola to be a real statement, which is why we painted it black. And we've used this very smooth wood, which gives it a lovely contemporary feel. This garden has an extensive lighting system, but I wanted to point out this fantastic pendant lamp that's just hanging here, which gives a wonderful warm glow over the table in the evening. And talking of warm glows, there's even a halogen heater, which we've managed to hide on one of the beams of the pergola. There's nothing better than the sound of running water, in my opinion. So relaxing. And in this garden, we've got two stylish contemporary zinc water features, which are completely self-contained. As with all the gardens that Douglas and I design, the plants are the stars of the show. And in this garden, we've ensured that there's interest in the garden for 12 months of the year. In the woodland lower area, we've got all spring bulbs. In the central area here, we've got a fantastic early perennials, which will take us through easily to August. And as we move through the summer, as well as all the colour in this part of the garden, the top part of the garden nearest to the house will burst into late summer colour, which will take us through to October and November. And with all the evergreen colour and structure that we've put into this garden, even in the bleakest days of winter, there'll be fantastic structure and interest within this garden. Now, from a design point of view, sometimes repeating a feature is a really good idea as it brings everything together. We've put these stepping stones which take us from our first lawned area and then here in the centre of the garden we've set the stepping stones within a gravel bed. And finally, in the more informal woodland part of the garden we've got the stepping stones again which lead us on to the rear part of the garden. On a chilly evening, it's great to sit here, light a fire and just chill out. Now, it's important to remember, none of this was here less than two months ago. So we put in a lot of mature trees. We've got tree ferns in the corners of this part of the garden and the fronds in a few weeks time will extend up to six feet in height. Might be hard to believe, but look at the potential. Look at these fronds coming out. There's not many trees I like to hug, but this is one of them. So, if you'd like us to design the garden of your dreams, why not get in touch via the website or Facebook?